Thomas the Tank and Jin and Friends, Tales from the Rails, Episode 29, The Untold Story of D199. It was in the fortnight, and Percy was puffing with the mail. All the engines were returning to the sheds. Percy was puffing along the bay route. When he saw a mysterious figure on the other track. The engine on the other track slowly moved by. Percy could hear humming. The engine on the other track slowly moved by. Percy could hear a humming of some sort of engine. But then he saw a large goods train with covered wagons. Percy came to a halt. Hello? Who's there? Percy popped under a bridge and saw the mysterious figure moving. He would confront him very soon. Percy raced up to the mysterious cargo train to find it was only Diesel 10 pulling a late night goods train. Oh, dear me, Percy, you definitely gave me a scare. What's the matter with you? Oh, thank goodness, it's only you, Diesel 10. Oh, I was expecting for it to be D199. You know he was sent away a long time ago. Ah, uh, D199. You mean Spancam? Oh yes, I've heard of him before. Plus, I'm going over to the scrapyards. Care to join me? No, said Percy, and he rushed away. Diesel 10 had definitely gave him a fright. Percy raced back to the sheds. He had news for the other engine. Phew, thank goodness you're all here. I got worried for a second. Percy, it looks like something gave you another fright. What's up? Well, um, I was taking the mail train, and I saw a mysterious goods train going by in the middle of the night. And, well, it turned out to be Diesel 10, but I thought it was D199 for a second. They do have almost identical shapes, you know. Uh, D199, we sent that engine packing. Uh, beg your pardon, but, uh, who is D199? Is he the one that you call Spancam? I'll tell it, Thomas. It all started a long time ago. After D199's accident with the coaches, he was sent to the yard and was shunting trucks. D199 didn't like this one bit, but he had to. It was for Topham Hat's order. One morning, Diesel came to the yard to pick up a train D199 had shunted, and they started to talk. You know, Diesel, there's only a few of us on this railway, and I think there should be more. Less steam engines, more diesels. Or new and revolutionary. Hmm, I like that term, you know. I might use it once or twice. No, take this serious. Us diesels, we should rebel. That's really not the best idea, D199. Well, actually, you should call you Spancam. But there's too many steam engines on this railway. I would rebel if we had more diesels. I understand, you know. But a new diesel just arrived. His name's Derek. We should convince him to our side. Hello, Derek. Welcome to our railway. I want no nonsense from you. Other diesels have been giving us a little trouble, and you seem like you were a fine fit. Well, thanks for the high regard, sir. I will do my best, and let nothing tempt me. Now that's a good diesel. Now let's get to work. There's a couple of new friends that you should meet in the yards. So Derek did go to the yards. Hello there. I'm Derek. Hello there. You seem very kind. Let's have a chat here about what needs to be done on this railway. Derek, don't listen to him if he says anything about rebels. It's much too hard to do with us diesels. There's not too many of them. Rebels? I'm equally perfect with steamies. I actually like them. What? That's highly impossible. Diesels like steamies. Pa, how have you ever heard about the legend of Diesel 10? Indeed I have. And see, only an army of three diesels happened there. But, you know what happened? Fell off a bridge. Hmm, that's a different timeline for you. As we know it, the three did take over Sodor. But Thomas the Tank Engine, he saved the whole railway. We should rebel again. Build a bigger army. That's what we should. Diesel 199, I cannot cooperate with that. I'm going now. And with that... Diesel sped out of the yards. 
Nonsense! I will rebel one day with a giant army of diesels, and this railway will become ours. And diesels will run around and roam the rails, and steamies will be scrapped. Just wait for that day. Alright, enough with the rebels. Let's get to work. The next job T199 had was to take scrap to the scrapyards. But he met a few engines on the way. Go, go, go! We can't get caught by the other engines. Go, go! Well, hello there, Diesels. Pleasure to meet you. I hear you're trying to hide from the railway. How'd you know? Well, I've heard the legend of Diesel 10. And, well, I want to help you. What? You will? Oh, that's excellent. Oh, yes, I'll help you. I'll help you take over the railway. What are you thinking, Splatter? Take over this railway? Now that sounds satisfying. Meet me at the Magic Buffers tonight, 8 o'clock. Make sure no one's watching. Yes, sir. And they both slyly went away. Wait, wait, wait. How do you know about this? Let's just say, Diesel's a bit of a blabbermouth. That night, they did meet at the Magic Buffers. Splatter and Dodge were very surprised that D199 found the buffers. Silence. I hear someone's watching. High in the hills, a yellow engine named Proteus stopped and listened to the conversation. There he is, up there, in the mountain. Get him! Oh no, they found me! I can't get this m magic... Gold dust to the magic railroad as fast as possible. And Proteus was out of sight. Never mind, boys. He's probably already back on the magic railroad. Shall we go steal some gold dust? Indeed. With that, the three entered the magic railroad and disappeared. Never heard of again. And from then on, we have no idea what happened to Proteus. Diesel 199, Splatter, or Dodge. They just disappeared and never came back. Wait, isn't a Proteus a narrow gauge engine? That's true, replied Thomas, but he holds more magic than any other engine. You must be careful when you're around him. Either good will come or bad. The engines were mystified by the story Duck had told them. I just have one more question, said Rosie. Where are the magic buffers, and how did he come in contact with them? That secret, said Thomas. No other engine shall know. And the engines, one by one, fell asleep, not knowing what laid behind them. And just like Proteus, D-199 disappeared into the night by magic.